Hello folks and welcome. So today's video is going to be about laptop battery power tips. I'm currently filming this on a laptop. You can probably see that it's charging right now. So I will talk about what you can do without installing software that uh, you can uh, change the longevity of your laptop battery to improve um, some time frames. You know, a lot of people uh, usually complain that laptop batteries don't last very long. You know, but that's pretty much universal. But let's uh, look at some options to make it last a little bit longer. How's that? I'm going to first show you some options you can do without installing software. Then I'm going to uh, talk about a piece of software called TLP that you can install with or without a user interface. Welcome folks. I am uh, filming in the native screen resolution of this laptop, but you can always uh, click on your gear symbol on your YouTube player and check how it's uh, being presented to you and make some alterations from there on your YouTube player. So welcome folks. So you can probably barely make out this logo here, but there's a circle in the center of the screen that says Linux for Seniors. It's a watermark and it's very, very, how do I put this, faded out. You should see that circle right approximately where my power off key is. I'm going to move that out of the way just slightly. If you've seen any of my videos on that, you probably know what that does. But you should look for this circle down here to click if you want to subscribe to Linux for Seniors. How many videos do I have on Linux for Seniors? Over 250 on all kinds of subjects, tips and tricks. If you become a subscriber, don't forget to check the Community tab and the About section. If you are already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about some tips regarding laptop power. So what can we do by affecting um, anything by not installing software? Well, first of all, right click on your panel bar and go to system settings. For you folks that are curious to see what kind of stuff I'm using today as far as themes, I'm using that for a dark um, desktop theme, icon set, and applications. All of these can be found on your systems. The empty butterfly yellow, I downloaded that uh, from a nonprofit website and installed that. I have lots of videos to show you how to do stuff like that. All right, moving along now. I am going to drop downstairs to power management. As I pointed out, this is a laptop. So if I was running a console computer or what I call a tower computer, um, my options would be slightly different. But since I'm using a laptop, I have some options here. Turn off the screen when inactive on AC power or on battery power. As you can currently see that I'm still running this. So suspend when inactive, never on AC power and never on battery power. What do I do when I close the lid, the lid to my laptop? Suspend here on the AC power and shut down on battery power. I have lots of options is what I'm getting at. They're all clickable and they all have an effect on your battery. Power button when pressed. The ask just means when you press this, this will, is what you'll get. Normally you don't have the timer. I, I've shown that option also on my videos. It's waiting for you to click something. That's the ask. Perform a lid action and what to do when the battery is critically low. Or do nothing. Your choice. All right, so since I have an, another toy plugged in, I'm using a G502. Um, it's a Logitech computer mouse, wireless. It also has a battery. This one happens to be one of those mice that has a rechargeable battery. But that's okay, at least I have a battery indicator on that. This is my main battery to the laptop. So that's one item. You may not have additional battery information. But anyways, low battery indication also for, for your wireless mouse, mice. Brightness. There is a big one that you can affect. Where do you have this number set? Because if you get it set to 100, your battery, um, your battery life is going to be a lot shorter, let's put it that way, in between charges. All right, and then also you have additional options, and there's drop down items in here. What if you wanted to install a piece of software that will monitor 
not only those items, but also have some additional ones. Well, I just happen to have that application installed, and I also have the graphical user interface installed. So I'm going to first open up a text file, and I'm going to let you read what this does. So TLP, I'm going to make this a little bit larger. So TLP is a feature-rich command line utility for Linux, saving laptop battery power without the need to delve into it, blah, blah, blah. And I'll talk about these options that I also I typed in here. That's just to check to see if the service is running and more importantly, how to activate it, depending on what you want to do. All right, so I'll minimize that and leave it there. So let's drop on over to a uh, software manager. Your icon will be different and we're going to install at least one application or I'm going to actually advocate that you install one and uh, you can install the other one. The other one is a graphical user interface and that is called TLP. So TLP, you will find it in here. It will not be installed by default. You can install that. It does not have a screenshot. So I'm going to go full screen. And more importantly, it is the, the same thing I was just talking about. This is made for, for uh, laptop batteries. So you can install that. This does not install a graphical user interface. So if you don't want to install this one right here, which is a flat pack piece of software, it's called TLP UI. And you can see that mine's installed and it comes from flathub.org and there's a screenshot of that. Okay. And I'll show you what this looks like in a minute. Okay, so this is for the folks that want to install that. If you don't, then you can activate it by using the command downstairs. Okay, you can use the sudo systemctl space enable space tlp space dash dash now in your terminal emulator. Open up terminal in other words. All right, now I'm going to open the interface up. And I'm going to type in TLP because I installed the graphical user interface also to give you that example. So the first thing you will see is the general tab. Okay, so you will have a help and about and you can actually click TLP UI on GitHub to get further information. All right, so it's in here. All right, install and run instructions. But I'm just going to briefly go through this. So you have the general category. This is self-explanatory. But more importantly, um, if you install this, um, I would probably just stick with the defaults unless you know what you're doing. Okay, there's a lot of options in here, folks. I mean a whole lot. But if you leave the defaults ones, um, you probably will suffice for 90% of you, if not more. But you have different categories is what I'm getting at. Some things will be turned off some things will be turned on. There's lots of categories that it's going to mo monitor. All right, so I'm going to actually close this and then I'm going to uh, actually software manager is still open. So one more time, install TLP. If you want the graphical interface, then install the TLP UI also. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to be doing this out of terminal. All right, so let me open up the text file. I just typed it in here it's just for something for you to see. Hopefully you can see this. I will uh, reduce that slightly. So if you wanted to see if the TLP is running, then you would type in TLP dash stat space dash S. If it complains that it needs sudo, then use sudo. Because again, this could be used for uh, different purposes. Let's put it that way. But this first statement here, should work on Linux Mint without an issue with using sudo. So let's open this thing up. So what I'm going to do is type in TLP and I'm going to put a dash S T A T a space dash S and hit enter. What you are looking for is this state enabled right here. Again, e even if I didn't use the actual interface, um, this is how you can check the service. If you find that it's not running, you want to perform the bottom command down here, also in terminal. But this is how you can tell it's running. Now you can currently see that I'm, I'm actually plugged in. 
Now watch what happens when I pull the power plug. So right now you can see that I'm charging and I'm going to literally yank the cord. So now it should switch over to battery in a second. There we go. Now I'm running on battery power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the same command by hitting the upper arrow key to repeat that line. And now you'll see that it's running on battery. So yes, it is live information. So let me cover this one more time. For you folks that uh, are wanting to shy away from terminal, may I then suggest you use the TLP UI. And uh, for making sure that it's running, go ahead and go to the general tab and don't change that. This should be automatically turned on for you. Um, you may have to actually either uh, reboot your machine, but I am going to, I'm sorry to say this, but I am going to encourage that you check this just by performing this command right here. If you wanted to be absolutely sure that it's running is to run the TLB TLP dash stat dash S. It's not that hard to punch in. So again, just perform that out of terminal. And then go ahead and, uh, you know, there's lots of wonderful things you can do with terminal. But more importantly, this will tell me right now if I'm running on battery. It also tells me that uh, the service is, uh, is running on the battery mode versus when I plug this in and rerun this. I'll have to close and reopen because I just plugged it back in. Okay, just to let you be aware that I plugged the cord back in here. And now it says AC back online. So yes, it is live. All right, so for you folks that don't want to install the uh, UI part, you may want to just perform that one. Okay. But again, I, I would still encourage that you make sure that that service is running by doing that. So if you don't want to use the, the UI interface. But the UI is pretty simple to use. But you can always verify the service is running. And hopefully you'll see better performance out of your battery by performing these actions. Certainly, if you don't want to install TLP, you can certainly go to right click system settings and go downstairs to power management and walk through these menus to make some alterations to your system. You know, everything affects your, your battery, your brightness of your keyboard. Do you have one of those keyboards that have the lighted up keys? All right, stuff like that. Brightness, especially on laptops, because that can um, the, the brighter your screen, the more power it consumes. There's also Bluetooth services. If you're not using Bluetooth, then I would also turn it off. Again, if, if there's a, a need that you have Bluetooth running, then leave it. If you don't have need for Bluetooth, turn it off. It's all about that uh, squeezing in those uh, electrons out of those batteries. Thank you for watching.